Hello, my faithful Moonbeams. I realize it's been a while. I've had some surgery in October, and it's hard to make a video when your house is crowded with people. But, anyways, as you can tell, it's still winter. Uh, due to my background, and uh, even the and uh, even though I'm in the northwest, it's not so bad out here right now. It's actually a nice warm day. So. I would like to say sorry for being gone for so long, and uh, I would like to dispel a few rumors. I have never in my YouTube career said cats is a terrible video. As a matter of fact, I hail cats as the best video of all time. Uh, whoever thinks I said cats was a terrible video got that idea from a comment I posted where I said it was on Smurf Vlogs and I said that he might not like cats due to the fact it's just them singing and Smurf might, might not like cats due to that fact because he doesn't like because he said that uh, he didn't like the night baby for Christmas because they were there was too much singing and I happen to like nightmare before Christmas and I happen to like all musicals so and cats is the best musical of all time And, and whoever thinks they're alone when ya when they cried about Yondu's death in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, uh, it was my birthday and I happened to have cried on that one. That was... It was my birthday, and yeah, Yondu in Guardians of the Galaxy, when he says he may have been your father, but he wasn't your daddy, that death scene in Guardians of the Galaxy is one that just gets you right in the feels. And especially when the Ravengers show up and they start shooting off their uh, lasers and because Sylvester Stallone's character said that the fires will never fly over his grave and here they are shooting their lasers off and the fires are flying over his grave. And it's like, dude, why? It's like, it's like right in, right, that's like one of those scenes that just gets you. So yeah, I can understand why the, why a biker guy would be bawling over that scene because it's like when they, rev their motorcycles over uh, for a uh, for bikers at a biker's funeral so a biker 
you might not I don't know who's seen any documentaries on bikers, but uh, there there's a certain bikers that will rev the motorcycles at the biker's funeral just for one last rev for the biker. It's their way of saying goodbye to their fellow biker. So I can see why the why any biker would be ball be bawling their eyes out over that one because it's the same type of thing and for any military person they would also be bawling their eyes out over that because it's like a 21 gun salute and Oh, anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I have for today. And, uh, and I'm back. I've, I haven't gone anywhere. I've always been where I'm at. Just I've been recovering from a surgery and I haven't had much time to make videos due to the fact that I haven't found any time to make videos. Yeah. Although I did have a Lewis Woodpecker in this tree behind me. Which is a very good thing due to the fact that it's full of earwigs. So come back, Lewis. We need ya. Uh, now, in further news, uh, my rating system. M for Moonbeam 87 approved. S for satisfactory, O for okay, C for camp or campy, B is a bomb or a box office bomb, F for fell asleep, as in I fell asleep watching it, and N not worth my time. Movies that are not worth my time are the 2014 version of Annie and the 1999 version of Annie. The 1999 version of Annie at least took place in the 1930s. The 2014 version of Annie is not worth my time due to the fact that one, Annie is black, and that is not Sandy at all. The hip hop, you do not turn It's a Hard Knock Life into hip hop, or Tomorrow, or Maybe, or any of the songs from Annie into hip hop. Ugh, that sounds so wrong. Now, don't call me racist for calling for saying that Annie is black, and it's and you're racist for calling Annie black. No, Annie is supposed to be a redhead with freckles. That's the way the creators of Annie made her was a redhead with freckles. She was created as a redhead with freckles. And she was not created for twenty four for the new millennium. Like, like me on Facebook. I don't even like you on Harlem. Why would I like you on Facebook? 
I saw that on IMDb. Don't make me barf. Anyways, to my uh, Christmas presents. <laughs> I got Ant-Man. Uh, X-Men Apoxy Apocalypse. Uh, Captain America Civil War. Saw it on the birthday before my last one. Yeah, let's see. Uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. Another birthday present that we've seen. Deadpool. A movie I have yet to see. Ah. Logan. This makes the O in my OK reviews. Saw it on one of my birthdays. As I mentioned, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. <sighs> Rest in peace, Yondu. We will miss you. He deserves that. Such a great guy. Why do you have to die? Uh, a few episodes of Bleach. Episodes 355 to 366. I never did see the end of it when I was on Adult Swim. Avengers Age of Ultron. Another movie I haven't seen. I also haven't seen uh, Ant-Man. Santa Claus with uh, David Huddleston as Santa Claus. Why does Dudley Moore have the top billing when it's David Huddleston front and center here? Dudley Moore's right there. That's David Huddleston as Santa Claus. Dudley Moore's the assistant. Why does he get top billing? Is it because he's more popular? I don't know. John Lithgow is also in that movie. He plays the villain BZ. I think that movie might make the C in my uh, on my review list. It's a good movie though. I gotta finally got it. Samurai Champloo with Megan, Jean, and Fu. Oddly enough, Akira has two voice acting, two voice acting uh, credits to this. It has uh, 1988. Voice, act voice actors and uh, 2001 voice actors. Uh, the 2001 voice actors uh, have uh, Wendy, I think, yeah, Wendy Lee. Uh, the, you might remember her from um, such things as Cowboy Bebop. So, so Wendy Lee from Cowboy Bebop is uh, in this version and uh, I also I was watching the 1988 uh, voice actors though but, uh, but I did watch the special features so I do know that she's uh, in the 2001 voice acting so. so 
So I might watch the 2001 voice actors as well as the 1988 voice actors due to the fact Wendy Lee is in it due to the fact I happen to like Wendy Lee. And uh, as, and as I was saying with that 2014 version of Annie, it's like Annie doesn't belong in the new millennium. When Hannigan says like me on Facebook, Facebook didn't come out until 2004 and wasn't available to the public until 2006. You can look that up on a Cortana or a Siri. I mean, ask either one of your devices when Facebook came out, and they will tell you that Facebook came out in 2004 and wasn't available to the public until 2006. Therefore, the new, therefore the 2014 version of Annie is a new millennium. Therefore, the 2014 version of Annie came out in the, in the millennium, and we don't even have. Uh, orphanages in the new millennium. So for her to say, like me on Facebook, it's it's totally wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. It's a bad movie and not worth my time to even, even bother with that one. I mean, it's bad enough that I even know it exists. It grates on my nerves. I mean, I wasn't even going to watch it due to the fact that Annie was black when she's supposed to be a redhead with freckles. Like I said, the only version worth watching is the Aileen Quinn version of Annie. The version that has Aileen Quinn uh, with Aileen Quinn as Annie, Albert Finney as Oliver Warbucks, Tim Curry as a Rooster, and Carol Burnett as Hannigan. That is the only version of Annie that anyone should watch because the other two don't even hold a candle to it the other two are just no don't go there because the 1999 version doesn't have Punjab in it and Punjab is like the most iconic character in any you could ever have. He is the best character of Annie. So if you call me racist for calling for saying Annie shouldn't be black, I say no to that because I love Punjab. And Punjab is awesome and Punjab is black. I happen to love Punjab. He's he's the most awesome character Annie ever put out. He's the most awesome character that, that he's the most awesome character that that show ever put out, and they got rid of and they got rid of Punjab in the 1999 version, and Kathy Bates played Hannigan, and she's like, "Have I ever spanked you?" And the girl who played Annie's like, "No, that's where she's like, I know." It's like. No, you don't. No, 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 no. No, not being spanked is not worse than being spanked. Because if you've ever been spanked, that's worse than not being spanked. Because being spanked hurts. Not be, Never being spanked? <laughs> yeah. Actually, the original Hannigan did spank. He locked the orphans in the closet. She did spank. The original Hannigan did spank. She's like, you have a 
because she was like, because Annie was like, I love you, Miss Hannigan, and Hannigan was like, and you will love the paddle closet, Annie, and this will love the sausage factory.